Hey Ansvan Squad, how you doing? Today we're going to take a look at what happens if you bring Legion along with you for the Overlord DLC in Mass Effect 2. Before this, I'll give you a brief explanation of what Overlord is about since some of you haven't played it and some skip it entirely for various reasons. Don't forget to check out my other videos, I have way too many Mass Effect videos at this point, some of them being guides and lore videos. Oh, and leave a like too, it helps the channel. Now the next few minutes are filled with spoilers for Overlord, just so you know. Overlord is a DLC that was released sometime after Mass Effect 2 had been released, and it's been known for being a little controversial, more so today than back when it was released. Story-wise, Overlord was a project that was overseen by the character called Dr. Gavin Archer, a scientist that was responsible for his own Cerberus research cell. The purpose of Project Overlord was to find a way to communicate and take control of the Geth, which plays along with the motivations of the elusive man in Cerberus. Dr. Archer had a brother named David, who was described as an autistic mathematical savant, in other words, someone who is extremely proficient in math while having autism. Notes from Thursday's experiment. Square root of 918.09 is 30.3. David, please pay attention. Loud. It's getting loud in here. Dr. Archer discovered that David could communicate with the Geth vocally. I want you to order the Geth to take a step forward. How does he do it? David is a mathematical savant. Don't ask. And so, Archer proceeded with experimenting on his own brother since he realized that this could be a doorway to controlling the Geth altogether. David gets integrated into a VI system, and this doesn't really work in Dr. Archer's favor, as the VI, now fully integrated with David, goes berserk and starts killing everyone. So considering the Project Overlord was about controlling the Geth, what happens if you actually bring a Geth to the mission? Namely, Legion. So after cutting a swath through Geth forces that were corrupted by the VI, Shepard manages to crash a satellite dish in order to prevent the VI from spreading off-planet. Upon meeting Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer at first doesn't seem to react to Legion standing around, but a few moments into the exchange, this dialogue sequence takes place. Now let me ask you a question. Is your friend here going to be a problem? If there's one Geth in the galaxy who can't be brainwashed, it's him. Don't worry. I'll take your word for it. As you can see, Gavin clearly seems worried at the prospect of Shepard having a Geth under his command, but Shepard waves his worries away. And that's that. Now in my own opinion, this was clearly a missed opportunity, and I wish there were some more interactions with Legion during the DLC. Some parts don't let you bring squad mates as you get separated from them, especially towards the end, where you find out that David had been connected in a pretty gruesome fashion to cables and electronics. This was the controversial part I was talking about. Anyway, after the few dialogue scenes that Gavin Archer says about Legion, there is no other interactions. Legion doesn't even have voice lines. Well, no squad member does. Which again makes it feel like Bioware were in a rush to get this out. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the Ensfen Squad. And if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, leave them down in the comment section below. Have a great day guys.